Menenesfa was Empress of Ethiopia as the wife of Emperor Haile Selassie. Menenesfa was born in Ambassel, located in Wallo province of Ethiopian Empire on the 25th of March 1889. She was the daughter of Asfa, Jantirar of Ambassel and Empress Sehen Michael. Her mother was the daughter of the King Mikhail of Wallo and her uncle was Lai Jiasu. According to both published and unpublished reports, Menenesfa was first given in marriage by her family to the prominent Wallo nobleman. Dejazmik Ali Mohammed of Karecha at a very young age, as was the prevailing custom. They had two children, a daughter, Empress Belena Shali, and a son, Jantar Aras Fali. This first marriage ended in divorce, and her Natal family then arranged. For Empress Menon to marry Dejazmik Ahmed Ali Abadeus, another very prominent nobleman of Wallo. She bore her second husband two children as well, a daughter, Empress Desta Ahmed, and a son, Jantirar Gebregzi Abir Ahmed. Following the sudden death of her second husband, Empress Menon's grandfather, Negus Mikhail arranged her marriage to Ras Loyal Sigd Atnaf Sejd, a prominent Shuan nobleman, who was considerably older than Empress Menon in late 1909 or early 1910. It is unclear whether Empress Menon was married to the aged nobleman and secured a divorce shortly, after words to marry her royal groom, or whether there was only an engagement between them which was broken without ado. Empress Menon probably met Dejaz Mektafari Makanan later the Emperor Haile Selassie, at the home of her uncle, Lai Jiasu. The rapport between the two may have inspired Lai Jiasu to attempt to bind Dejaz Mektafari to him more firmly through marriage ties. He therefore terminated the arrangement whether marriage or engagement between Empress Menen and Ras Loyalsigd and sent her to her R to marry Dejaz Mektafari Makanen. Ras Loyalsigd apparently did not hold a grudge against Dejaz Mektafari. For this circumstance, blaming it entirely on Lygiasu who had ordered it. Indeed, he was among the leaders who fought on the side of Dejaz Mektafari Makanan in the Battle of Sigali and died in that battle. The account given in the autobiography of the Emperor My Life and Ethiopia's Progress mentions no previous marriage or children of Empress Menen and no such order by Iasu, but states only that at the age of 20, they were married by their own mutual consent and describes her as a woman without any malice whatsoever. When Tafari Makanan became Emperor of Ethiopia as Haile Selassie I, Menenesfal was crowned as Empress at his side. Empress Menen had no children by Ras Loyalsigd. Empress Menen was active in promoting women's issues in Ethiopia, was patroness of the Ethiopian Red Cross and the Ethiopian Women's Charitable Organization, she was also patroness of the Jerusalem Society that arranged for pilgrimages to the Holy Land. She founded the Empress Menon School for Girls in Addis Ababa, the first all-girls school which had both boarding and day students. Girls from all over the empire were brought to the school to receive a modern education. Encouraged by the Empress who visited it often and presided over its graduation ceremonies, the Empress gave generously, as well as sponsored programs for the poor, ill, and disabled. She was also a devoutly religious woman who did much to support the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. She built, renovated, and endowed numerous churches in Ethiopia and in the Holy Land. Prominent among these are the St. Regal Church in Addis Ababa's Mercado District the Kidane Merit Our Lady Covenant of Mercy Church on Mount Entodo, and the Holy Trinity Monastery on the banks of the River Jordan in the Holy Land. She gave generously from her personal funds towards the building of the new Cathedral of St. Mary of Zion at Axum, but did not live to see it completed and dedicated. When the Empress was exiled from Ethiopia during the Italian occupation from 1936 to 1941, she made a pledge to the Virgin Mary at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, promising to give her crown to the church if Ethiopia were liberated from occupation. The Empress made numerous pilgrimages to holy sites in then British-ruled Palestine, in Syria and in Lebanon during her exile to pray for her occupied homeland. 
following the return of Emperor Haile Selassie I and his family to Ethiopia in 1941. A replica of the crown was made for future empresses, but the original crown that Empress Menon was crowned with at her husband's side in 1930 was sent to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. Empress Menon, although often seen wearing a tiara at public events that called for it, would never again wear a full crown. Empress Menon performed perfectly in the role of Empress Consort. In her public role, she combined religious piety, concern for social causes, and support for development schemes with the majesty of her imperial status. Outwardly, she was the dutiful wife, visiting schools, churches, exhibitions, and model farms, attending public and state events at her husband's side or by herself. She took no public stand on political or policy issues. Behind the scenes, however, she was the emperor's most trusted advisor, quietly offering advice on a whole range of issues. She avoided the publicly political role that her predecessor as empress consort, Empress Teichu Betel, had taken, which had caused deep resentment in government circles during the reign of Menelik II. The empress and some of her family were placed under house arrest briefly, during the 1960 Imperial Guard coup attempt against her husband, at her villa outside the Genetluol Palace grounds in northern Addis Ababa. Following the return of the Emperor and the crushing of the coup attempt, there was much speculation as to the conduct of the Crown Prince, who had been proclaimed monarch by the coup leaders. It was noted that the Crown Prince had accompanied his mother in a drive through the palace grounds making stops at Imperial Guard posts to exchange pleasantries with the guards. On the night before the coup was launched, the ailing Empress had been urged to visit the posts by security officials, who were concerned about the soldiers' morale and perhaps had an idea that something was brewing. The appearance of the Empress with the Crown Prince at her side may have been used by coup leaders as an indication to their followers that the Empress might sympathize with a movement that brought her favored son to the throne. It is extremely unlikely that either the Empress or the Prince had any idea of what was being plotted. However, a cloud of suspicion never left the Crown Prince, and the Empress was deeply saddened by this. Following her death in 1962, the Empress was buried in the crypt of Holy Trinity Cathedral in Addis Ababa among the tombs of her children. Prime Minister Aklilu had told delivered her eulogy paying tribute to her charity, her piety and her role as advisor and helpmate to the Emperor, as well as her personal kindness and goodness. On the third day memorial and commemoration after the funeral, the Emperor himself paid tribute to his wife by saying that although the Prime Minister had aptly described what kind of person his late wife had been, he wanted to say that during their five decades of marriage, not once had it been necessary to have a third party mediate between him and his wife, and that their marriage had been one of peace and mutual support. Later, the emperor built a pair of grand sarcophagi in the north transept of Holy Trinity Cathedral's nave, in order to transfer his wife's remains there and eventually be buried at her side himself. But due to the revolution, the emperor was not buried there after his death, and the empress remained in her original tomb in the crypt. During the ceremonial burial of her husband's remains in November 2000, the remains of Empress Menon were also disinterred from the crypt tomb, and placed in the sarcophagus next to her husband in the nave of the cathedral, as he had originally intended. As the consort of Emperor Haile Selassie, Empress Menon is highly venerated by members of the Rastafari movement. One name Rastas bestow on the Empress is Queen Omega, which complements. One of the names they give to the Emperor King Alpha as in Alpha and Omega. The later name is used to refer to the Emperor in the original version of the reggae song Rivers of Babylon by the Melodians but all mention of him was removed from the more popular version by Boney M. Empress Menon is far seated in the center and standing women from left to right are Princess Sahai, Princess Tenig Nwerk, and Princess Zine Bwerk, her daughters, and on the far right is Princess Wolit Israel Siam, her daughter-in-law. 
Empress Menin and Emperor Haile Selassie were the parents of six children. Princess Tenig Work, Crown Princess Fa Wasson, Princess Sahai, Princess Zine Work, Prince Makanen, and Prince Sahal Selassie. Empress Min was stepmother to the emperor's eldest child, Princess Romanturk. Princess Romanturk was the daughter of a previous union of the emperor with Empress Altayek. The emperor's own autobiography mentions that his joy in 1941 following Ethiopia's liberation from fascist occupation was tempered by the grief of learning that his eldest child, Princess Romanturk, had died under detention in Italy. Princess Romanturk had been imprisoned along with her first sons, two of whom also died in Italy. The remaining two, Djaz Match Samson Bayin Marid and Djaz Match Marid Bayin Marid, were repatriated from Italy after the war and were raised by the emperor and empress. Princess Falwasen was first married to Princess Wolit Israel Siam, and then following their divorce to Princess Medferiash Workabibi. Prince Makanen was married to Princess Sarah Giza. Prince Sahel Selassie was married to Princess Mahisant Habt Mariam. Princess Roman Turk married Djaz Match Bayin Marid. Princess Tenegnwork first married Ras Desta Dam II, and after she was widowed later married Ras Andergachu Mesai. Princess Zine Bwork married Djaz Match Haile Selassie Gugsa. Princess Sahai married LT. General Abaya Bibi.